Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a film called Train to Busan 2 Peninsula. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. During the aftermath of a virus outbreak, South Korea is infested with zombies. Our main character, the soldier boy, is driving his nephew, sister, and brother-in-law to a ship where they can hopefully escape this disaster. They run into a couple with a daughter stranded on the road who wanted them to help. But due to fear of infection, the soldier boy ignored their pleas, although with great emotional turmoil. The family finally arrives at the boat, which is heading towards Japan where the infection have not spread to. However, in the middle of the trip, they were forced to redirect to Hong Kong. What's even worse, there were infected people on this boat which caused many deaths, including his sister and nephew. Four years later, the soldier boy and his brother-in-law are struggling to live in Hong Kong due to their illegal status. They were offered a job by the local gangster to make $2.5 million each if they retrieve $20 million in a truck that was left in South Korea. In their team includes two other people, and they were given satellite phones and weapons for their mission. Although the soldier boy was unwilling at first, his brother-in-law convinces him as this was their only chance to escape their current financial predicament. The group arrives at the island and successfully finds the truck after only a little bit of searching. They drive off in the money truck and begins to plan on what to do now that they're rich. Personally, I think it's a bad omen to celebrate so soon. Before they can finish daydreaming about their riches, numerous flares were shot at their direction, which drew herds of zombies towards them. They floored the gas pedal, but ultimately were unable to escape. They crashed the money truck and the soldier boy flew out through the windshield. The driver died immediately by the crash, and the other two hid inside the vehicle. The soldier boy tries to fight off the herd, but there were clearly too many zombies. He is saved, however, when a black truck driven by a young girl came to his rescue. Seriously though, the way she drives, someone should hire her for the next Fast and Furious movie. In the meantime, the man hiding in the money truck comes out after the zombies were chased off by a group of people. However, they killed him sadistically and took the truck with the brother-in-law hiding in the back. It turns out that these people used to be a part of the military, but has went crazy during the outbreak. They eventually discovers the brother-in-law and forces him to participate in a survival game for their entertainment. While everyone in the camp is celebrating, a cripple discovered the bag of money in the truck and the satellite phone. He brings this to the captain, who is in charge of the operation. They use the phone to contact the gangsters in Hong Kong and arranges a deal to escape this island. However, they want to keep this away from their men as they are not in good terms with the sergeant. Meanwhile, our main character arrives safely with the girls to their hideout and he realizes that they belong to the mother who he refused to help four years ago. He learned from the family about the people who took the truck and he tells them about the money and satellite phone. They realize that the only chance to escape this island is to retrieve the money truck from the thugs. The grandpa objects to this plan as he claims to have made contact with the UN who will arrive to save them very soon. However, no one believes him as he seemed to be missing a little more than just a few screws. At night, the mother and the soldier boy sneaks into the military base and finds the money truck. They were interrupted by the cripple and finds out that the brother-in-law is still alive. Our main character rushes into the building to save his brother while the mother warns the cripple to not make a sound. However, they were soon discovered by the captain, and the mother was forced to drive off with the truck. The soldier boy makes it in time to rescue his brother from the death pit. The two attempts to escape, but is bombarded by gunshots from the thugs. In an attempt to save the main character, the brother sacrificed himself and was killed by the sergeant. 
the soldier boy barely escapes thanks to the mom who rammed the truck through the building. They drive towards the port but runs into a herd of zombies which quickly surrounds the truck. Luckily, the daughter shows up and lured the zombies away with her lights, making way for their escape. Nonetheless, the fox quickly catches up and uses flares to attract more zombies towards them. The daughter uses her crazy drifting skills to shake off the chasers and uses lights to signal the zombies to attack. The soldier boy shoots out the glass from a building which released countless zombies in front of the sergeant, killing them in the process. They make it to the port, but the captain ambushes them by crashing into them with a large truck. He takes the daughter hostage and forces the family to throw away their weapons. To save the daughter, the grandpa jumps in and sacrifices himself while the captain makes off with the truck. He drives into the ship, but the gangsters betray him, since they never intended to pay out. Before his death, he backs up the truck to jam up the entrance so the zombies can rush in and kill everyone. The family is hopeless as they realize their only way off the island is destroyed. However, they soon see a helicopter from the UN arrive just like the grandpa said before. The mother tells the soldier boy to protect her daughters and head towards the helicopter while she lures the zombies away. She runs into a truck and pushes the horn to attract all the zombies towards her. The daughter makes it to the UN soldiers, but they must leave the mother behind. However, she forces them to stay at gunpoint. The soldier boy decides to go back for the mother, undoing his mistake from four years ago. He manages to hold off the zombies long enough for the mother to escape, and they all safely board the helicopter. The group flies off from the island while the sun rises from the distance. So what do you guys think about this movie? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.